Divination by Anya Jimenez. Lights up on Ruth, early 20s, and Kat, her younger sister, in the living room kitchen area of Kat's apartment. Ruth is searching through Kat's cabinets, noticeably anxious. Kat sits on the couch, watching her. Stop it. What? Stop looking at me. I'm not. Yes, you are. You're looking at me like I'm some poor wounded thing and I'm not, so cut it out. What are you looking for? Creamer. Coffee? Pregnancy craving. Ugh, you don't even know if you're pregnant yet. It was a joke. And besides, if you are pregnant, you're not supposed to be drinking caffeine. It's bad for the baby. Any ideas? For what? For where I might find the creamer. I am not going to enable you. There's nothing to enable. It's one cup. <laughs> Did you try the fridge? Yeah, nothing in there. There's milk, but no creamer. Milk doesn't work? No, I can't have coffee without creamer. That's a little picky, don't you think? It's my good luck charm. <coughs> coffee, May, is your good luck charm? Leave me alone. <coughs> Who's that? Alice. Did she make up her mind? <laughs> yeah, I don't think she'll be joining us. Why? Uh, she told me yesterday that she did this, I don't know, this tea bag divination thing. Tea leaf. What? You said bag, it's leaf. Whatever. And she saw a bear, I guess? In the leaves? Yeah. And so she has taken that to mean that she is going to be attacked by said bear. So she just skipped all the symbolism of it and went straight to the literal. And now she's decided <clears throat> that she needs to stay as far away from the woods as possible for some indefinite period of time, meaning no camping. I mean, sure. It was a stupid idea anyway. Oh, but we love stupid ideas. You're still gonna go, right? I have to think about it. About the coffee. I won't have any if it's really stressing you out that much. No, no, it's just, look, you said pregnancy craving, like you already know that you're pregnant and I don't know, I guess I'm just wondering if the test is positive, are you gonna keep it? When I asked if I could come over, I was looking for support, not an interrogation. I'm not interrogating you. I'm not gonna have any coffee if that's what you're asking. I couldn't find the creamer anyway. That's not what I meant and you know it. I'm just trying to help you figure out what comes next. Well, maybe Alice knows. Ask her, did the bear have a cub? God, you are really not taking this well. Can you blame me? Uh, no. How much longer? Minute 30. Distract me. Um, oh, did you hear back about the job interview? <sighs> Distract me with something less stressful, please. Okay, uh... Okay, about the camping trip. Yeah? I was thinking about it the other day, and we haven't gone since we were kids, and I don't know. I was really looking forward to it, and now it just seems like you're gonna say no. I mean, maybe. Great, love the decision-making that is happening right now. Don't be a dick. I'm just trying to help you make plans. It's on a Sunday anyway. Church? Yes. Going to repent? I said don't be a dick. Isn't Michael gonna be there? Shit. You seriously didn't think about that? 
I wasn't really focused on that part, no. So are you still gonna go? To church or to get mauled by a bear in the woods with my darling sister? Oh my God, church. I don't know. Because he might be there? Yes and no. So what is it? A lot of things. One of them being that I had Starbucks on Wednesday, so God might be able to tell that I'm murdering my child with lattes. Okay, pros and cons. What? Pros of going to church, go. Okay, um, it usually makes me feel better. Closer to a higher power, um, clarity, potentially. And it might give me the answer that I've been looking for. Maybe make me more decisive about everything. Cons? Michael. Is that it? And maybe a major lack of clarity. Okay. So what do you think? I think... Fuck. Well? I don't want to look at it. Ruth, you have to. No, please, just let me live somewhere else, just for a moment, please. Nope. Cat. No, I'm not going to let you go down that route. It's not healthy. You're the one who's always telling me I need to live in the present, not in what might have been. I'm just giving you the same advice. I just repeated that shit from my pastor. It really doesn't go that deep. Mm, well, if a pastor said it, it's probably pretty deep. Shut up. Sorry, not the time. It's just... You know my hoodie still smells like him? I keep washing it and washing it, hoping it'll go away. And maybe it has, but he's just stuck in my nose or something. I don't know. You should look at it. And then show it to me. Cat stands up. Actually, wait, no. No? No, I just, I just, because once I see it, I can't go back, that's the thing. Well, yeah. So I should know exactly what I'm going to do if I'm pregnant before I find out if I'm pregnant. That way, if I am pregnant, I know how to, how, how to be pregnant. So I can sit back down? Yes. Sorry. No, look, don't apologize. You know, I never really liked Michael anyway. I never got the deal with people like him. Just seems like the type to bring God into every argument, you know? Like, I hate people like that. What do you mean? I mean, you get in a fight, and he says something bad, and so you say something worse, and suddenly it's like a three-person conversation. You tell him, you wish he was dead, and it's then all, oh, I'll pray for you. Like God's his wingman or something. I just told you that I want to murder you in cold blood. And you say you're going to pray for me? No the fuck you won't. And then him and his church friends can just say whatever like, horrid thing pops into their head. And as long as they accept Jesus into their hearts, it's fine. Because they're still going to heaven. That's my problem with religion. You have a lot of problems with religion. No, I don't. You bit a minister. Oh, I was a baby, and I probably thought he was gonna drown me. In holy water? How do I know that's what it was? It could have been Dasani. Well, I think they would have at least splurged for Perrier for a baptism, don't you? I don't know. <laughs> Church isn't really my venue. My point is, Fuck Michael. Yeah, fuck Michael. Fuck Michael! I'll punch
pious and godly until he isn't. Is that it? He loves me until he doesn't. And now I'm not enough for him. And I'm, and he's left me with this. You know, I think I'm going to spend the rest of my life with this man. And then, surprise, he cheats on me. And then surprise again, I'm pregnant. You don't know that yet. Honestly, with the way things are going, why wouldn't I be? I'm ready to move in with him, ready to move on to a better job, which I might not even be getting at this point. And now it's pretty fucking likely that I'm carrying his child. And I'm sure if he were here right now, he'd say that this is God's plan for me and that I have to have faith. And this is, this is, this is fucking ridiculous. I mean, three years ago, I was a complete atheist and now I'm having a crisis of faith. People change. Well, yeah, clearly. I just, I hate this so much, Kat. If I could go back in time or some shit, I would do it in a heartbeat. I keep thinking about all the ways I could have saved myself if I had never moved in with him, if I had never even met him. Hey. What? I love you. I love you too. You're gonna be okay. I promise. And no matter what, I'm here for you. We're gonna get through this. Okay. And if you are pregnant and you decide not to keep it, I support you, live your life. And if you don't, I think you would make an amazing mom. Thank you, but I hate kids. I know. I just think that they're tiny and awful and very, very loud and they smell like shit. And, well, except for the newborns because they have that new baby smell, which is nice, but even that has its consequences. I mean, you can't hold a newborn for more than five seconds without running the risk of becoming its shit receptacle. Uh, I'm sorry, shit receptacle? I, I forgot the word for toilet. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, it always comes down to that anyway not being shit on. I mean, being a vessel, a hole for someone or something. And I don't mean that in a sexual way. Well, I mean, yeah, sex is part of it, but it's more than that. It's, I mean it in a cosmic way. Don't laugh. I wasn't. Thanks. Because there's me and then there's him, and then there's God, or gods, I don't know. And I'm supposed to let him, or it, or they, move through me, right? Accept Jesus in your heart. <laughs> right. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, whatever religious medium you wanna explain that in. I'm supposed to be passive enough to invite God, whatever that means, into my soul and Michael into my bed and potentially a baby into my life. And everything happens for a reason, of course. So whether or not this baby is real, it has become a gift. That's how Michael made me look at the world. Everything is a gift sent by God. And in a way, I love that. I think it's beautiful. 
I, it makes me appreciate all the little things, all the stupid things I shouldn't spend so much time on. When the world is a gift, everything is brighter. And in a way, I'm grateful for that. I'm not grateful for the rest of it, but I need to see it. Do you want me to? Yes, please. You said you wanted to know exactly what you were going to do before seeing it. I don't think I've ever exactly known anything. So. And you're not going to make me sit back down, right? Right. Cat gets up to grab the test. You're not gonna look at it? I'm not the one who pissed on a stick. You deserve to be the first one to see it. Positive. It's... Yeah. I'm pregnant. I don't know what to say. Can I be honest? You've been honest this whole time, of course. If I were to abort it, and I'm not saying I will, I don't know if I could go through with it. I mean, if it comes down to it, I don't know if I can. Can what? Abort it. Wait, this isn't going to turn into some pro-life rant, is it? No, no, I don't think abortion is murder or anything like that. I just... But maybe it's more complicated. A part of me still feels like I need to be forgiven for it. I mean, you haven't even done it yet. And even if you do, it's pretty common. I know there's a lot of baby killer stigma or whatever, but at the end of the day, it's your choice. And why would you need forgiveness for something you haven't even done? No, I, I, I know. It's just... I can't really return to sender if this really is my fate. I mean, who am I to reject a gift from God? Or is it a gift at all? Or does God have anything to do with it? Or is he as passive as I am? <sighs> Jesus. Oh, sorry. Uh, not the best word choice. <sighs> it's okay. I just feel like womanhood is inherently prison -y. Yeah. Everything that happens in my life happens to me. Even when I'm doing, that's... I can't even drink a fucking cup of coffee and... I don't know where I'm going with this, but it's probably not healthy that I associate God with masculinity. And God with Michael and Michael with masculinity. I, because rationally, I know that isn't what God is. And maybe I never got to know him or her. Because my entire relationship with a higher power has been based on other people. Going to church with mom. Going to church with Michael. And apparently becoming the Virgin Mary. I mean, God has to be more than that. I, I don't want to believe that that's what God is. And... I don't think that that's what I am either. I just wish I had more power. I mean, not God level power, just some control. Because if I get this job. When? When I get this job, I want to be able to say that it happened because I made it happen. Not God, not some man, me. I want to be more than what I exist in relation to. I want to be more than what's inside of me. You are. 
I know it's easy to say, give me a sign when you feel lost. I mean, that's why Alice is doing teabag divination or, sorry, leave. And maybe it does mean she'll die some gruesome death at the hands of a bear. I don't know. But at the end of the day, that's up to her. And if you are meant to have a baby, you will. But that doesn't mean it's this baby. And that doesn't make you any less of a complete person. Nobody has all the answers. You're still rude. I think that's sign enough. Yeah. You hungry? Very. <laughs> I'll get you something. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll get it myself. You sure? Yeah. Oh, Alice again. What's she saying? Something about the bear again? She might be rethinking the camping trip. You know how she's wishy-washy like that. Cat. Yeah? Look. Creamer. <laughs> I thought you said it wasn't in the fridge. It wasn't. Now it is. Now I can have my coffee. Oh my god. I think this is it. This is my sign. <laughs>